Hey guys, it's Rhea here at allofourhomes.com and today I want to share with you seven habits for eco-conscious living in a stylish, low-impact home. So I've already made a bunch of vlog posts about this book, Ramadalisa's The Low Impact Home, a source book for stylish and eco-conscious living. I really have loved looking at this book and I want to share so much of it with you. Today we're going to share with you seven easy habit shifts that they talk about in the book for stylish, eco-conscious living. So from one neighbor to another, let's jump into it. The first easy habit is to finish what's on your plate and in your fridge. Food is the single biggest source of global carbon dioxide emissions, and an alarming percent of those emissions stem from food waste. Buy reasonable quantities. Local, seasonal, plant-based ingredients are the ideal. And use what you've got. Then compost your scraps. If you want to see more about our compost setup, I will link to that video for you all. The second easy habit is to heat the person, not the house. Install a smart thermostat and lower your energy use when no one's home. In the winter, bundle up instead of blasting the heat. Similarly, use old-fashioned techniques to stay cool. Install awnings and window blinds, position a fan to make the most of a cross breeze, take a quick cold shower, and sleep on the porch. The third easy habit is to conserve water. Launder only what's really dirty. Instead of washing each dish under the tap, fill the sink or bin with soapy water. Turn off the faucet while brushing your teeth and shower while lathering up. Leaving them on wastes thousands of gallons and liters of water per person per year. Collect shower water to use on your plants and take an occasional sponge bath instead of a daily shower. The fourth easy habit is to say no to waste. Avoid buying products that come in single-use plastic and other unnecessary packaging. Cancel catalogs, opt out of junk mail, bypass flyers and business cards, and carry your own grocery and produce bags, as well as utensils and coffee cups. The fifth easy habit is to learn the recycling guidelines in your location and follow them. Adding questionable items to the heap is likely to contaminate the whole collection and make it non-recyclable. I'm definitely guilty of this. I'm definitely adding this to my New Year's resolution. The sixth easy habit is to use rags instead of paper towels and cloth napkins instead of paper ones. Old t-shirts are ideal cleaning cloths. Actually using microfiber cloths are not great, so natural materials are best. And you can easily make your own napkins by cutting squares of scrap fabric. Big family, give each person their own pattern or color and add fresh napkins only as needed. And number seven for an easy habit shift is replacing your remaining incandescent light bulbs with LEDs. They require a fraction of the energy and last so much longer. And Ramadalista's Low Impact Homebook also provides you with extra credit, five important, not so easy changes. The first is to make your home as energy efficient as possible and use green energy to power it. Install solar panels on your roof, a heat pump in your basement, an electric stove in your kitchen. The idea is to say no to fossil fuels. We've been doing this with our home and documenting our process along the way. So go ahead and check it out. The second is to eat a plant-based diet or at the very least, a lot less meat. Consider cutting down on dairy too and giving up beef, the most carbon intensive of all foods. The third is to get around on public transport by bike or on foot. If having a car is crucial, it should be electric. The fourth is to travel by plane infrequently, if at all. The UN predicts CO2 emissions from planes will triple by 2050. Consider getting to your destination by train instead. The fifth is to find ways you as an individual can help tip the scales. You can run for public office, start a community garden, launch a composting co-op, join an environmental action groups, and hold your legislators accountable. Or do something simple like starting a YouTube channel like we did to share a story with others. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We post videos on Tuesdays. Thanks for stopping by our home.